Everything's wrapped with goodness and prepared with pride to bring you all our best this Christmas. Pick and pay, always there for you. Grand Chef Peter Tempelhoff is usually found weaving his culinary magic in the kitchens of the Liz McGrath collection of hotels, but we joined him in his kitchen at home. Hey, good morning. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Christmas turkey my way. First, we've got to start with the stuffing. Really important to get a really good pork sausage for your stuffing. We're going to start with a really good quality pork sausage. We're going to fill it with some onions and some sage and a little bit of the turkey liver. So over here on the board, I've got the onions. All right, so right now we're going to dice up the onions. We're going to get it to a bit of a fine dice. And then we're going to saute it really gently with no color, just with a bit of olive oil on the stove top. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to grab the pan. Inside the pan, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Not too much, about two tablespoons should do it. And then we're going to slide the onions into the nice warm pan. All right, so the onions go on the stove. And just before they start getting hot, we add a little bit of salt. So we're just going to give that a little bit of a stir, get the oil coated all over the onions. And while that is frying off like that, we're going to go back to the board and we're going to prep the garlic and the sage. A really, really neat trick to peel garlic is just crush it with a knife. It makes it so much easier to get, to get the skin off instead of struggling trying to peel it. Great, so now that the garlic is done, we're going to add the liver to the pan to the onions. So here we've got the, the turkey liver. It's a really decent sized liver and it's actually quite a, quite a mild texture and a mild flavor as well. So similar to chicken, so I'm going to give it a bit of salt, drop it into the pan, and we're just going to cook it till it's medium rare. And then we're going to take it out of the pan and we're going to dice it up and add it to the stuffing once everything's cool. So you don't need to cook it too far here. You're just trying to firm it up so that when you do chop it, it's a little bit easier to chop. So at this stage, we're almost ready on that. Right now I'm going to add the garlic to that because the onions are nicely softened. So the garlic will go in at this stage. We'll just take the pan over to the board. Saves a lot of, a lot of hassle. And just sort of swipe the onions in there back to the stove like that. And I'm gonna take the livers out of this stage because they're nicely firmed up. See how nice and firm they are. So the livers can go onto the board, which will chop, and then the garlic can carry on cooking with the onions here at this stage. Finally dice the turkey liver, chop fresh sage, and then carefully remove the sausage from its casing. Add the sauteed onions, garlic, breadcrumbs, and an egg. Mix well, and put the mixture into the fridge to cool. All right, well now I'm gonna do the turkey. And this is where it gets dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to debone this turkey. I'm going to take off the thigh and the legs and the breasts. We're going to cook them separately. And the reason is because these take different times to cook the breast and the leg and the thigh. If you're new to the technique, find a quick instructional video on Expresso's website. By now, the stuffing should be cool enough. Keep it handy for the next step. All right, so now let's get to work. So we've got the turkey breasts here, which we're gonna sear off in the pan just to give us a nice color. Then we've got the legs and the thighs here, which we're gonna bone out, and we're gonna stuff with the stuffing that we made earlier. Chef Peter removes the thigh and leg bones, ensuring there is a cavity for the stuffing. Pound the thigh with a mallet until it's about one centimeter thick and stuff it. Then tie it with string so that it forms a large cylindrical shape. Refrigerate until needed. All right, so at this stage, we're going to add the mirepoix vegetables, which is just carrots, celery, leeks, and garlic. And this is become, going to become our sauce. So get the, get the mirepoix in there, brown them off a little bit. Then I also like, at this stage, I really like to add the, the other bits of the turkey, so the neck, the, the heart, and other little giblets in there. So we're going to get that into there as well. Add flour, wine, and chicken stock. Then allow the dish to simmer for at least an hour to an hour and a half. And here we have our turkey breast, which has just come out the fridge, which I'm just going to wrap up with cling film nice and tightly. And then we're going to get in the sous vide bath. Carefully tie the ends to prevent water from getting in. Use a sous vide bath or a deep pot filled with water in an oven heated to 65 degrees Celsius. So we're pretty much all done here. I'm going to take out the turkey breast, get in the frying pan, give it some extra color just to finish it off. I'm going to strain my sauce out, carve up the leg and the thigh, serve them with some really great crispy potatoes, some fresh vegetables, and our amazing cranberry sauce we made earlier. If you want the recipe for this amazing festive dish, SMS the keyword turkey to 33728.
got your celebrations all wrapped up with savings, value and all our best this Christmas. Pick and pay. Always there for you.